Yo-yo thinking is where we fluctuate between self-doubt and self-confidence. From thinking you can do something to being racked with insecurity about whether or not you actually can. It's that fight inside of us where we really, really feel we must try. And then the part of us that wants to hold us back to that fears that we're actually not good enough to succeed. If you feel this way, you're really not alone because everybody has two psychological systems that are operating. We have a self-protective system that develops first to psychologically help us survive in, a, in throughout our childhood and throughout our adult lives. It's the part of ourself where we develop our persona, that part of ourself that faces the world. We also have a self-actualizing system that needs to be activated in order for our authentic self to emerge in our lives. These two have very different agendas. Our self-protective system, our persona, is there for survival and our self-actualizing system is there so that we can thrive in our lives and actually achieve our potential. And so in explaining that, you can see that that duality is there and naturally exists. What happens is that when our, in our childhood, our self-protective system through difficult experiences may become stronger and act and start getting in the way of our development because the self, the, the authentic self is actually a bit impaired and afraid to come out for fear it might get hurt. This is why when we start to develop, our self-protective system kicks in, our persona that says, you can't, you can't do that. You have to stop yourself from doing that. You notice this, we get excited about something. We really, really want to do it. And the next moment we're coming up with all of the reasons why we can't or we shouldn't. We want to invest in ourselves and we want to claim that we actually want to be in that C-suite position. And then we get so busy that we don't make a plan for that. We don't let ourselves do it. And there's always rational reasons for that. But keeping ourselves safe means keeping ourselves small. And it stops us from getting what we actually want in, in our life and really achieving our potential. So if you just do one thing, the tip for this week is observe this battle that is going on inside of you. The self-protective system versus the needs of the authentic self. Decide how you want to support your growth and development. Have a conversation. Try and bring out those needs of the authentic self so that they're so clear that the resistance is lessened by just that desire in you to achieve your potential. Use affirmations that support your desire, that support that vision that you have for yourself and recognize the negating script that you're using and recognize it as belonging to your parents, your teachers, and other authority figures along the way who have insisted that you stay small and not get what you want. Don't join them. Be all that you can be.